Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Coding. Um, in this episode, I will be using Blender 2.92 Alpha, and we have geometry nodes by default. And also, we have point cloud objects, but it's still, uh, I think, work in progress. So today, I will gonna, I'm going to try to generate uh, some kind of decorations. Um, so let's say we have like a cylinder, and we're going to make a subdivisions into the cylinder, and we don't want to have the cap and I'm gonna make this like that and I'm gonna subdivide this a couple of time so we have enough subdivisions now we can do some kind of decorations um, using weight paint so let's say we have something like this maybe I have too much subdivisions but anyway we can use this to basically scatter some objects okay so I'm gonna have a point cloud objects oh, wait a minute there's point cloud, point cloud, <clears throat> and by default, it's like that. And I want to scatter some donuts, and for the donuts, I will use Svetchok nodes. Okay, so just a simple basic torus, and I'm gonna output it. Something like that can be smaller. Then put it to the side. Okay, so we have a donut. So let's save this very quickly. Scatter donuts. So with the, with the weight paint, uh, you can have multiple actually. Uh, Let's just call this one donut. And now we can use geometry nodes and point cloud. So add a modifier, geometry nodes, and we're gonna scatter some donuts. Okay. So we're gonna be using this uh, cylinder geometry. And we're gonna distribute some points. Like that. And we can take the density from the donuts. And scatter some instance of the donuts. Okay, so pretty simple. So, so far so good. Uh, we can now start to add randomizations using random attribute. So this can be the scale. So now start to see what's, what's happening. And we can also add another random attribute and this is gonna be rotations for the rotations we use minus three point something and three point something it's like a high basically okay now if you want to have some control here we can actually do that simply plug in this guy over there so by default density is 10 we want to have some kind of multiplier so we do it this way so now we can control the density of the donuts this way. You can have multiple paint weight. How, uh, let me show you very quickly. So this by default uh, density, I was just gonna give it a name donut. So we have donut here. So we can go back to the paint weight and continue painting. So this is much cleaner for us to work. 
so you can blur it if you like smear what's the thing that's erasing it okay wait zero okay this one is erasing it so this makes in instancing very uh, easy. Currently, we need to have this point cloud objects. I wish uh, we can actually inst uh, don't need to use point cloud, like just simply using it on the cylinder. With a point cloud, I believe we cannot um, we cannot convert it into instance objects. So for now, it's just it's renderable, but uh, still just random. So for this donut, if you want to give it something like just more interesting, like a random color, just simply apply a material, and with the shader node, you can then use hue saturations and objecting for random hue. So I believe this should work. Alright, so we have random color for our three. Okay, so yeah, so that's basically what I want to show you. Um, but however, we have we uh we can actually have multiple weights, uh, like I like I said earlier. So you can create another weight and call it maybe box, and then another weight paint and start painting weight like so and then when we go back to the point cloud and select the geometry nodes We can simply uh, join it. So this is a geometry multiplier point distribute. Kind of copy. This time I will make a cube. And go back to point cloud. Let's call it box. Get the geometry. Use the cube. Join the geometry and then type it in here. So now we have this box. Okay, this box can also use that same material and just make it a single user so it's now can be shared it differently so now we have different objects if we go back to point cloud geometry nodes we can get an, then add another control. This is actually the example that's given by Blender Foundations. It's on the blog somewhere. And so point cloud. We have this control. All right. So for this, for example, instead of using float, we can use vector and just simply scale it randomly, like so. Pretty cool um, control of our boxes. 
and this is uh, this kind of thing this kind of thing is actually uh, good for set dressing if you ever do like a three making a 3d scene and maybe you need to put like a lot of boxes um, instead of just the donuts or something but anyway that's pretty much it you got the drill um, with the spare chop notes we started with the torus I believe we can still quickly randomize this. You can see here how everything is protrudal and it's really really quite powerful ways of working. So a lot of potentials. So that's basically how uh, you could use this point cloud just to control your. Uh, if you wanna do like a painting on these objects, and you want to scatter some objects, like uh, okay, currently it's a uh, it's pretty messy. Maybe I should get rid of everything. Also get rid of the donuts. And let's see. Paint it properly. Sometimes manual control is needed. <clears throat> manual um, kind of manual painting kind of make make you like feels more satisfied with your work, I believe. So it's not everything is automatic. If everything is automatic, then what's the point? It's good to make mistakes also. Oh, currently I think uh, what we don't really have is the, the control over the normal. The normal of the instance. Maybe in the future we, we can have such control. There you go. So we have Christmas tree with boxes and donuts. Somehow I like bright color. All right, so there you go. How you can use point cloud scatter with Blender 2.91 Alpha and geometry nodes to scatter random objects on the surface of a mesh. All right, so thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.